Hello guys, so I'm PixelatorJ and today I'm going to teach you how to make a rendered image similar to the one you're seeing back at my wallpaper here. What we will need is two different programs which would be Mineways and Blender. First off, you would need to download Mineways, of course. Um, it is actually a plugin for people to make live models of their own Minecraft builds but we can also use it to just make a simple render in Blender. Okay, so for me, I would download it on Mac, so I'll click this button. For Windows, yeah, click Windows, and just click it, and you download So from what you have downloaded, you would get a Mineways file, okay? You unzip it, and you'll get this file with many, many terrain files inside it, and then also a Mineways file. Uh, I don't know if it's blank for uh, Windows users, but is blank for Mac users for some reason. All you need to do is double click on it. Oops. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna open up. And then we're going to select uh, the world for it to render. Okay, so for example, you can uh, pick out the worlds from your Minecraft save file. For example, in your Minecraft file, uh, go into saves, and then you can pick out the world. But in this case, I've already set it up and I've dragged it to the desktop okay in your word file there will be a level dot they that okay so in your mind ways all you need to do is open up open world custom and then you pick for example for me it's on the desktop this aisle and I pick the level dot that you select it and then it's going to load for a little bit and then it's going to open up on the screen let's just let it load for a little bit more okay now what you need to do is use your right click button select the area which you want you would like to um, turn into an OBG file okay and then make sure the height and the depth make sure they all make sense okay and then now you would need to go to files select terrain.png and then you can select your PNG file. Okay, so in, for me, PNG file, terrain, terrain. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, I'll just pick this one for now, and then click export model for rendering. Okay, not 3D printing, but rendering. Now all you need to do is select a name. For example, AA. A -A, okay, and then in the file of section, select OBG, but remember it's the relative and material preview, not the absolute and true specs. Okay, click saves. This is going to pop up. You don't need to change anything, just make sure it's export, color, texture, patterns. Okay, and then pl uh, click OK. Once you got Blender, open it up. And this is what you're gonna see, right? Um, so let me explain this. The middle, this little cube here, is the object. Okay, we will change it later on. This thing on the side symbolizes the camera, and that is the light. But since we're gonna make them ourselves later on, all you need to do is to select all of them by clicking A, and go on the left hand side and click Delete okay and delete them all and now you need to go right here into files and import obj files okay select where you place your obj my aa.obj okay so it just finished rend uh, like importing into blender all you need to do is zoom out just use the normal zoom button and zoom out and then click a okay this would deselect all of the stuff that you were selecting just now. Now, this is the map, right? Okay. Now you need to insert two things. Remember from the beginning, in the default blank um, page, they had a camera. So let's click add here. Camera. Okay. So blue goes up or down. Green goes left or right. And red goes front to back I guess okay so just 
put it into the position where it is, first of all. Okay, then, since this camera is pointing down right down at the little port at the, uh, at the bottom, which is not what we want to take a snapshot of, obviously, click this little curvy button on the bottom. Okay, this will change the way you control it. And either this, change how the camera moves okay so for example like that okay I'm not even bothered to do it much further anymore since it's just a tutorial to teach you how to do it okay for example that's it now without light everything is going to be black okay so all you need to do is add a lamp you don't select sun, spot, hemi, or area, you select point, okay? Since that would give you the most natural look, that would be right for Minecraft. Do the same for as the camera, you just locate it in the right position, okay? Now, you don't need to rotate it, you just need to put it at the right point, since it's the same lighting, okay? Now, on the right hand side, you can select this little button here, okay, which is for object data for light, okay. Now in here, uh, go down to energy. I usually put 1.5, uh, 1.2, I think, okay. And distance, I usually for morning you would put about 900, and at night time you would put about 200 or 100, okay. And you also want shadows, so down here gray shadows, okay. Uh, change the soft size to about 3 since if it's not soft it will look really solid and kind of fake right now um, up on top left side you can see render select render image you can also press F12 if you want and this would render the image okay it usually doesn't take too long so I won't pause it I'll just let you guys see how it works Okay, so right now we're just going to see the simple snap of the picture, okay? We're not doing anything sp uh, fancy or anything cool yet, it's just the basic picture, okay? As you can see, this picture is really boring, right? Now, how do we make it nicer? First of all, I think I, take, I have too much sky. So, remove the sky, remove the camera, I mean, a little bit lower. Maybe slightly pointing a bit at the river, pond, I mean. Okay, maybe you're pointing at the house this time. Since maybe that would be easier. Okay, so this time we we'll select a different, an entirely different approach for the whole place. Now, what you would need to do now okay um, back on the right hand side there's a word button world um, and then you can pick the sky okay so just click the pick the right color approximately like this probably during daytime maybe be a little bit more bluish even lighter than that like that too purpley like that okay um, now you can also add stars if you wish, as you can see in here. But uh, since it's daytime, we don't need stars, and you can add mist. Okay, but um, this map is not very suitable for adding mist, in my opinion. Now, what you need to do next is to render it again. Okay, let's just see how it looks like. Okay, so now this image is rendered. It looks much better, although it still looks kind of weird because of my terrible texture pack. Now what you would need to do is to take a snapshot of it, since as far as I know there is no way to actually take it out of Blender in the plugin itself. So I don't know how you do it in Windows, but for Mac, click Shift Command 4 together and you select the area and then now the image should be on desktop, okay? Yep, it's on my desktop. Okay, now the image can be opened with GIMP. Okay, so open the image with GIMP. 
Now, I know many of you guys are going to say that this image is so much uglier than the front page I'm doing. What am I hiding? Well, truth is, you really need to take your time to fool around and try to get the right camera angle and the right lighting. So it takes time, and I think that since it's just a tutorial, I'll just make it simple and easy for you guys. Okay, um, so now at GIMP, um, okay, forgot this. Um, you can download GIMP in the description below. It's a free uh, program, so not that hard to get. Now what you would need to do is go to Filters and select Light and Shadow. And select Lens Flare. Okay, so select just a random point for Lens Flare and just select it and click it. And this is what you get, which is much better already. Please put the light at the right position, otherwise it might look weird and awkward. Now you can add fog if you wish. Okay, which I think here it is quite suitable. Okay, I'll add a thin layer of fog, a really thin, really thin layer. Okay, now you can also add artistically soft glow. Okay. Now let me go down to preview for you guys. Nope, you really can't get it. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, let's load again. And you would see it glow a little bit more, right? So it's a little bit like nicer, right? So then you would like to add some other stuff. You can play around with it, but I'm just going to do a simple one and add border, okay? Add a fuzzy border, for example. Yeah. Now, close the back one, so you don't need that one. And there you go, you're done. Okay? So now, on the left-hand side, you can add words. Wait, what? You can add words. For example, hi. Okay? Make it whatever color you wish it to be. Make it whatever size you wish it to be. Okay, what a shape you wish it to be. Just make it however way you like it to be. Okay? So just add the words around, make it fancy, try around, add more filters into it. And that's basically it. It's just done randomly, slowly, by myself. Okay? So thank you for watching. Um, this is my first time having my own voice onto YouTube through the name of Pixelator J. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, before I finish, I would like to say that I'd really appreciate it if you guys would like to give me a thumbs up or like to favorite it or anything. There's a link to some of our projects um, on Planet Minecraft. So yeah, that's basically it. We'll be having much more videos soon, but based not all tutorials since we work mostly on buildings. Uh, I'm just doing this due to the high requests. So that's it. Um, oh, forgot forgot the last bit, um, to the file, export, yeah, this is the most important bit, I actually forgot, and export it as a PNG file, just like that, okay, now, that's it, okay, so thank you very much for watching, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon, goodbye.